Hey guys, my name is Casey Ferris. I make videos on DaVinci Resolve. Make sure to subscribe here on YouTube for more of that. Today, we're taking a quick look at how to mask something in Fusion. Maybe you Googled this. Maybe you're wondering, how do I do such things? Here's how you do it. Without getting crazy, there's a whole bunch of different ways that you could mask something. This is the most basic, easy way. Here I have this lower third. I'll zoom in so we can see it a little bit. And let's say we want this to kind of animate and have this text kind of just drop in out of nowhere. What we're gonna do is mask this. Pretty much how this works is select the node that you want to mask. And then up here in your toolbar, there's a few different buttons. A lot of the time for graphics, you can just use the rectangle. I'll just click on rectangle. That'll add a rectangle mask node. Up here in our canvas, if we have the rectangle mask node selected, we have this rectangle that we can move around. I'm going to turn off this checkerboard so we can see it a little easier. Now, if I grab this little red handle and move this around, we can see that this text appears wherever the mask is. So what I'll do is just size this mask around our text. I can do that by changing the width and the height in our inspector. I just want that to be right around our text. And now, because these are separate nodes, this mask isn't going to be stuck to the text. If I move this text around, you see it doesn't move the mask around, it just moves the text under the mask. So this is really great for things that we're trying to do, like animate this text coming down, because all we have to do is keyframe this text, starting up here, and coming down. And you have to say when you do it. So I'm gonna move to whatever frame I want this to stop at, let's say frame 30, and with my text, node selected, what I'm going to animate in the inspector is under the layout controls, the second icon over center. This is what we're animating. I'm going to click on this little diamond and turn it orange. Then I'll move to the beginning of our comp and I can just grab this handle and drag this up. So it's out of view. And because we already hit our diamond, it's going to keyframe that and it's going to pop in. So yeah, pretty simple way to mask something. Of course, if you want to get fancy, you can select the mask node and you have all kinds of controls over here in the inspector. You can soften the mask, invert it, do all kinds of stuff. If you guys want more on masking, kind of basic stuff like this, let me know in the comments. So I hope that was helpful for you. By the way, if nodes in Fusion are confusing, check out this video because it explains nodes like a boss and you will understand them so hard. It's great. Yeah. And it has to do with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which, you know, we're all proud of. Everybody loves that. Yeah.